I'm sweating, guys. Um, but even though I'm sweating and I'm not looking my absolute best, I'm going to show you a little garden update because I haven't done one in a while and I don't know how much longer my garden is going to last. Uh, it is on in the summer. It has been very hot every day. We've actually had rain the last two days, so and we ju it just rained. So this would be a good time to kind of show you around the yard a little bit. My blackberries are growing a little bit. They're staying alive. I've got two of them here. But let's look at the garden. All right, you can see my tomatoes are reaching the end of their productivity. Some of them are doing better than others. This one has a lot of small little green tomatoes on it still. This one is looking a little on its last legs, but it's still producing some tomatoes here and there. These are really looking rough. A few of my Cherokee purples still, still coming in. But, you know, putting these guards on these, I don't know. I mean, I, I do think it kept them from getting all broke and stuff with the squirrels and stuff getting on them. But it also, I think, hindered their growth a little bit. But, I mean, it's been being hot. And when it really starts getting hot, you know, these tomatoes only are going to last for so long. You can see these over here, they're about done. <clears throat> I haven't really been getting anything out of these, but I have left them in these grow bags. The ones in the ground, uh, it's not so much the ones in the ground, but the ones over there on that side did better than the ones over here on this side. So I'll have to remember that for next year. Probably something about the sun or whatever. But anyway, we've gotten a good bit of tomatoes, canned a little bit of them, but we've had tomatoes to eat on our sandwiches and stuff. Also, my peas are on their last legs here. Get a little closer. A few of them, I'm still getting peas. I mean, I'm getting like a good big handful, you know, at least every day still. So they're hanging in there and they we've gotten a lot of peas. Um, my okra really is just now getting to its uh, best time. Because okra loves it when it gets hot so it's really just now starting to grow good uh, but I've been able to come out here every day and harvest you know at least six to ten pods every day and they're actually starting to get a little tall over here I'm still trying to water every day there's a lot of them out there today it's because it rained yesterday. Anytime it rains, everything just takes off. Uh, there really isn't much else to show, guys. My squash has been gone. It's been gone forever. Uh, my jalapeno, something has got after them and started eating them. Um, but we did get a few jalapeno peppers. Not as many as I thought we would. But they're still alive. Probably could go ahead and pull them up. Same thing over here with the bells. I'm going to leave these in the ground because I had this big volunteer. I guess it wasn't a volunteer. I just didn't. I just cut them off at the base last year. So I'll probably leave these bell peppers in the ground. I'm still getting a few, but they're, all, you know, they're small. And then these little peppers here have just, you know, produced tons and tons of them. They're, they're good little peppers. They're not hot. But, uh, Anyway, we are at the, on our last legs. Definitely on our last legs here in the garden, except for the okra. It'll produce for a while. So, it is uh, the middle of July, toward the end of July. And that's about what I'm going to get out of this. And some of these tomatoes I threw over here did produce. You can see them over there. And what's so crazy... <clears throat> What's so crazy is uh, the squirrels don't eat those tomatoes. They'll try to come in here and get these tomatoes. Whatever. <clears throat> we have our lime tree and our lemon tree. This one doesn't have anything on it. But it has grown the most. It's the healthiest looking tree. This one has some fruit on it. Look at there. 
little dude. And it's, it's got some more coming on. Look at that. What about that, guys? Look good. Let's see what's up with the orange tree. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Huh. Got at least two. At least two going. That's good. <clears throat> three. We got three. Four. And right there. Okay, and here is the bed I put next to the grill. You can see stuff is coming up there. I was hoping to maybe get some flowers on it, but it might be too late in the summer to hope for that. But anyway, these elephant ears that I planned over here next to the boat cover. They're doing really well, they're growing. That's a good spot for them, apparently, next to this downspout. Uh, the one that's over here is doing pretty good, too. Not as good as the other one, but it's coming along. Uh, I transplanted this from over there next to the barn. It's staying alive. Uh, transplanted these from next to the barn, and they're staying alive. And then, these caladiums and stuff here, they're still growing. This stuff has stayed alive over here next to the house. I wondered how it would do, because it is like super shady right there. So let's look at the flower bed in the front and see uh, how it's doing. Okay, the uh, annuals actually are, are doing okay here. And the things that I thought would be tougher the perennials are not quite doing as well uh, like these dianthas over here they they have died these lambs here are staying alive and these are the the daisies but all these dianthas died i've about come to the conclusion you can't plant dianthas here so mixed results here but you know what i'm learning uh what to plant and what's going to make it so next year I don't know what to do. I need to come up with something for the fall um, to put in this bed up here. This stays fairly shady. Uh, it doesn't get a lot of the hot sun. So if you guys have any good ideas for me, uh, feel free to let me know what to put in there. But anyway, the yard's been nice and green because we've been getting the rain the last couple of days. The birds are fat and happy. So, I guess that's our garden. We all looking over there. What's over there? But <laughs> that's our garden tour for the day. Y'all have a good day. And thanks for watching Nichols Empire.